Of course you get lonely at times, but that's the art of it. It forces me to think about my innermost desires, fears, and raw emotions. Last two days for my Bali trip, I stayed in Ayana Resort, which is one of the luxury resorts in Bali. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yep. The room looks so nice. It's too big for me. <laughs> now the resort is really really big so you need to take a tram to get around the property. It usually cycles around every 5 to 10 minutes so, in fact, you don't actually have to wait too long for it. This is the Ayana's main pool, which is located in the main area of the resort. Honestly, my jaw dropped as I saw this stunning view overlooking the ocean. How amazing! You need to pass this area to get to the Paddy restaurant, ocean pool and also the rock bar. This is the way to the ocean pool and you need to take this outdoor lift. And I know, yes, I can't get over how stunning this view was. Now, can we just take a moment and appreciate the stunning view? When I arrived, it was about 5.30pm and you can see how packed it was. There aren't that many sunbeds so I recommend going there early about 3 to 4pm to get a seat. I couldn't get a sunbed myself but I took a dip anyway because who wouldn't with this view, right? I was just happy to watch the sunset. On the way back, there was actually a wedding going on. It is definitely a very romantic place, with the sun setting over the horizon, music playing in the background. Okay, just got back from the pool. I thought I wouldn't be hungry today because I had a huge breakfast, but I actually am. And I don't know what to eat, there are too many options. Uh, there's Jap, there's Steakhouse, a bar, uh... But also, I don't really feel like going out to a restaurant again to eat by myself. So I think I'm just going to get a room service. Yeah. I found the menu for in-room service. I might just get this today. What should I eat? What should I eat? Hmm... Okay, I made up my mind. I'm gonna get soto ayam, which is Indonesian chicken turmeric broth with glass noodles. Thank you. How are you today? I'm good. I'm hungry. Oh, sorry, sorry. Wait, wait. No, no, no. Uh, can I put uh, dinner? Yes. 
so you can call 88 yeah. or, or you can just put it outside my dinner has arrived this is called soto ayam which is indonesian chicken soup they have rice on the side and some prawn chips as well yay It's a good chicken stew with a hint of turmeric, but it's not too strong. Mm. It's a very simple chicken soup, but classic is always the best. Also, this is their robe. <laughs> Isn't this super cute? I like the pattern. It's a bit big on me, but it's okay. It is clean! I honestly think I could have another bowl of this. This was really, really good. Wow, I really got attacked by a mosquito, didn't I? One, two, three, four, five. And I have a few on my legs and my shoulder. So itchy. I really want to take an advantage of this buff. So I'm going to set it up with music. <laughs> Oh. Well, I'm happy on my own Making coffee just for one And eating breakfast all alone Fewer dishes to be done I'm never running behind You're never on my mind So I'm gonna head out to the beach area first and then have breakfast on the way back and check out a few more pools around the resort This is the tram schedule, so I'm at Rimba Lobby. I need to go to, I think, Ayana Villas Lobby Lobby. And Kubi Beach is where I'm heading as well. Yeah, so the shuttle looks like that. Apparently, Kubi Beach is not open till 9, so I'm going to check out a river pool first. So this is Villa Lobby and it is a bit smaller than the other areas but it looks very cute and cozy i think this is the river pool look at this they line up for the photos here but this view is amazing That pool was slippery. Be careful. I learned the hard way. That was really embarrassing. My next stop was Kubu Beach, which is a private beach only for the in-house guests.
days, I'm gonna head over to the main area for breakfast. Thank you. Look at this. It's a monkey. Oh my god, I've never seen a monkey this close before. Well, there are a few around actually. This is a oh, wow. one. Yeah, he's big. Got some baby monkeys there. So this is their breakfast area. Juices. I think this is the range of pastries. But a range of different things. So I got some pastry, some Indian, Asian, Western waffles, and that soup from yesterday, and also some muesli. This looks gross, but it's actually bread pudding. It's really nice. I got a second plate. <laughs> got some noodle, and this is like traditional Indonesian food. So I got a super range of different things. Okay, the audio wasn't the best here. So there are three main restaurants you can enjoy your breakfast from. I went to Patty Restaurant, which is this one since it's the only one offering traditional Indonesian breakfast options compared to the other ones. I got some desserts again. <laughs> this is the last, I promise. Mine, this is like traditional Indonesian dessert, a sticky rice thing, got some jackfruit, the bread pudding, that was really good, some tea cake and also French toast and iced coffee of course. After breakfast, I went back to the Rimba Resort to use the gym and pool. I think this was the upper pool, but there was no shade, so I skipped this one. Before going into another pool, I needed to do a quick workout to digest my three big plates of breakfast. So here is me doing some workouts. After gym, I headed to the lower pool, which was bigger than the other ones and actually had some water slides for kids as well. To go to the rock pool bar, you have to go to the main area like yesterday. The line was very very long, so make sure you get there in time for your reservation. My gosh, it's boiling hot here. I literally have an umbrella here covering myself. Maybe I'll get a cocktail. Okay, okay. Yeah. 
Can I please get one crispy mini tacos? Yeah. And can I please also get Rock My World? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Once the sun starts to set, they remove the umbrella for you. You have to book here if you're planning to come. The tables run out really quickly. I'm gonna try to set up the camera for a time lapse. I don't know why, but looking at other families and couples having such beautiful time together made me happy and also very emotional in a way. It made me think about my family a lot. Spending this last night and finishing off my solo trip made me realize that I really developed a deeper connection with the world but also most importantly myself. It gave me some place to reflect the person I am and also the person I am becoming. Watching the sunrise and sunset in a different city, every conversation with a stranger and every silent communion with nature, I got to appreciate the transformative power of solitude. So maybe it's sometimes in those moments of vulnerability that we often find our greatest strengths.